Hi, I'm Heidi Dupree of HeidiDupree.com, Energy Healing Solutions for Highly Sensitive Women. And today I'd like to talk to you about how to release the fear of letting go. Many years ago, my family briefly had a pet cockatiel named Angel. He was named Angel because of his beautiful white plumage, but Angel was no angel. He started out as a pet belonging to a friend, but Angel did not get along with my friend's other cockatiels. He was a bit of a bully. <laughs> when my daughter expressed interest in having a cockatiel, my friend happily gave him to us. It was agreed that Angel should stay in my daughter's bedroom next to her two parakeets. This arrangement worked well for a few months, but when the parakeets died, Angel was all alone in my daughter's room while she was in school. We became concerned about his isolation and moved him to the family room. However, the family cats agitated him and his daily periods of loud screeching were disruptive to the household. Even my daughter agreed that it wasn't working out, but she was also very reluctant to let him go for fear that she would never see him again. When we are in fear, we are in our lower self. Our lower self experiences life as not enough because when we're in the lower self, our energy state is disruptive and feels not enough. In a state of not enough, we don't trust in the flow of life. We fear that if we let go, we'll be left with nothing. In this state of not enough, our energy isn't flowing and we aren't experiencing the flow of abundance. One exercise I use with clients in my energy healing therapy coaching practice to restore energy flow I call release, receive breathing. Spend 10 minutes a day in slow, deep breathing while focusing on releasing what no longer serves you with each exhale and focusing on receiving with each inhale. Here are some examples of what you could say out loud or silently with each exhale. I release fear. I release stagnation. I release lack. I release mistrust, I release control. And here are some examples of what you could say out loud or silent to, to yourself with each inhale. I receive love, I receive energy, I receive abundance, I receive support, I receive trust. This is a slow rhythmic exercise, breathing in and out that reestablishes your natural energy flow and builds your trust in the flow. I had no idea how I would rehome Angel in a way that was acceptable. I didn't want to just give him away to anyone. I finally let go of the situation and asked that a solution present itself. And the solution came right through my front door. I held Girl Scout meetings in my home at that time, and the girls all admired Angel. One of the mothers took a special interest in him. As the meeting was breaking up, she asked me a lot of questions about what was involved in owning a cockatiel. She was looking for a pet for her son with special needs, and it had to be a pet without fur due to allergies in the family with fur. She wanted to know how much it cost to own a cockatiel and how much the cage and toys and food cost as she was on a tight budget. It suddenly occurred to me that this was the perfect solution for Angel he and his paraphernalia could go to this loving family where he could be outside of his cage and not be bothered by cats. A family who might not have been able to otherwise afford a pet. A home where he would help a little boy with special needs. And my daughter could still visit him. It was a win-win situation for us, Angel, his new owners, and our daughter. And it was a solution I did not have to seek I only had to receive it. My daughter did visit Angel in his new home, and he remembered her, gently rubbing his beak against her cheek while making these contented clucking sounds. Once she saw how happy he was in his new home, she trusted that we had made the right decision. I recently ran into this Girl Scout mother, and she said Angel is still alive and well albeit with some arthritis in his claws. It's as if Angel was always meant for them 
and we were simply the vehicle to get him there. But we had to let go to get him there. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel. You can go to my website, HeidiDupree.com, and subscribe on any page and receive a free court recording, three keys to removing the blocks to getting what you want in life. While you're at my website, you can check out my award-winning books and my programs. If you would like to read the blog version of this video, I'll put the link below. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you endless blessings.